systemic racism in the criminal justice system by suspect Every country around the world has its own version of the criminal justice system. This system is used for finding and then either punishing or rehabilitating people who have committed crimes. According to K.R. Parkland, who is a worker at U.S. Department of Justice, the criminal justice system consists of the police, the courts, and corrections. The goal of all three subsystems is the reduction of crime in the community. Even though this system is supposed to be unbiased and only follow the rules made by laws, bias and prejudice are still prevalent in the system. This is especially true with racism, which is known as systemic racism. Uh, while reading the stimulus material, and especially while reading the article created by Nelson Mandela, Nelson Mandela, I came up with my thesis paper. In many countries, the justice system is littered with systemic racism that causes unfair rulings and treatment and makes undeserving people have to be resilient through very harsh situations. Firstly, systemic racism is prevalent in many justice systems that are implemented around the world. Systemic racism has been a problem for many years and still is one. For more clarity, Mahazarin R. Banaji, a Richard Clark Thibault professor of social ethics at Harvard University states, a massive study published in May 2020 of 90 million, 95 million traffic stops by 56 police agencies between 2011 and 2018 found that while black people were, more, were much more likely to be pulled over than whites, the disparity lessens at night when police are less able to distinguish the race of the driver. Systemic racism is not just a thing of the past, it is a very prevalent and big issue that must be solved. This issue cannot be ignored as this will lead to very mistreated people and also cause people to lose their lives without a reason for it. People of color have been severely hurt physically and mentally for hundreds of years by racism and must be stopped. Secondly, people of minorities face unfair rulings in court and treatment throughout the justice system. Angela, Angela J. Davis is a distinguished professor of law at the American University Washington College of Law. She states, the killing of Trayvon Martin the initial failure of the prosecutor to charge Zimmerman, Zimmerman with a crime, and Zimmerman's ultimate acquittal captured the attention of the nation. This quote shows how court systems have systemic racism in them, and how unfair rulings happen against people of minorities. Even though Zimmerman killed Trayvon Martin, he, is, he was still not charged with his murder. This was because of the underlying systemic racism that is flowing through the court system. Also, Ella Wiley states, say, says, According to the sentencing project, 48% of people serving life or virtually life sentences are black. Moreover, in 2017, the United States Sentencing Commission reported that black men receive federal prison sentences that are nearly 20% longer than white men convicted of the same crime. Federal prosecutors are also twice as likely to charge black people with offenses carrying a mandatory minimum sentence than their white counterparts. These statistics show, show the mistreatment of minorities in the court system. It also shows how people's rulings can be swayed or dictated by the color of their skin. Finally, the justice system puts undeserving people into very harsh situations and forces them to resilient through them because of systemic racism. According to Nelson Mandela, who was South Africa's first president, the challenge for every prisoner particularly every political prisoner, is how to survive prison intact, how to emerge from prison undiminished, how to conserve and even replenish one's beliefs. This quote shows how prisoners are mistreated and put into very harsh situations, even to the point where they think they must fight for their survival. Also, these people were not deserving of these situations. This is best shown through Nelson Mandela, who was put into the situation for trying to help his country become more modernized and change the government for better. People may think that there is no systemic racism in the justice system because the problem has already been fixed. This is a highly popular opinion among people who do not believe in systemic racism. They believe that it has already been wiped out of our justice system. For example, Langan is a worker at, US, at the US Department of Justice. He states, many studies have been conducted that show no bias in, in the arrest, prosecution, adjudication, and sentencing of blacks. 
consensus among criminologists is that available evidence of bias is not strong. However, this counterclaim is not true as many people of color say they have experienced systemic racism in today's world. The Kaiser Family Foundation did a poll in June 2020 that states, amid nationwide protests against racial bias in law enforcement and beyond, a new KFF poll finds that the vast majority, 71%, of black Americans say they have experienced some form, some form of racial dis discrimination or mistreatment during their lifetimes, including nearly half, 48%, who say at one point that they felt their life was in danger because of their race. This statistic shows the prevalence of systemic racism today. This graph on the screen by the Prison, prison Policy Initiative shows racial disparities in the incarceration rate. For both men and women, people of color are incarcerated significantly more than whites. In conclusion, systemic racism is a problem that has been and still is around in our criminal justice system. This is shown throughout the entire system, including the courts, police, and prisons. There are many different ways in which people of minorities are treated differently in these systems. This systemic racism causes unfair rulings, unfair treatment, and forces undeserving people to have to resolve through very hard situations.